Hi everyone, it's Raja and Gutmik, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Action. Photo Review. <laughs> Season fourteen. This week we are going to be tooting and booting the looks from this week's runway of. Today's theme is a night of one thousand J Lo's. Obviously, you understood the assignment, and so did I. Yes, I mean, Gorge. Is... I'm giving a, a cool toned demon version of J Lo. Don't you think? Sure. <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> Are you booting my J Lo attempt? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I'm like giving. I feel like I'm giving some sort of like I could be an impersonator. I uh, an embodier it was her when I walked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I think about J Lo, I think about so many cool moments. I think of like the Benefer moment. I think of her、mm. like moments when she was like with P Diddy, where she was like we're all in white with the white bandana and the white pants. Obviously, the the famous Donatella Versace dress. You, you know the green. This I、week? feel like that's the new kimono gate. Like that's gonna <laughs> ruin everyone's day because there's gonna be so many of those tropical print like low cut moments. I think of gold tones. I think of just like she's very like sexy. Like everything's really sexy. It's about body. I've seen her tour videos and she's in like little thongy thongs, giving it to the girls, like killing. Like she is just like defying. Gravity. I think of ass. There better be some asses. There better be some nice、uh, glow onto the skin because J Lo glow. And I want to see bronzer, bronzer,、artistry. tonal,、uh-huh. bronzel artistry. Bronzel. Let's boot some sh. Let's boot some sh. Category is. Night of a thousand J Lo's. First up to the stage, we bring Willow Pill.、Oh, yes. Oh. Aw, look at her. She's giving us the Y two K obvi.、Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I live. Willow Pill. I love that hair color on her. She's giving J Lo to me. She really is a little girl. And I love. She really is a little girl. Really I love the like simple, like just stones, like the lines of the stones. It's、mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's referential. I mean, apparently J Lo did wear this look,、oh. and it's it's almost perfect. Apparently J Lo wore this, so、oh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally obsessed. It's down to the bag, the shoe. Everything is actually perfect. She、mm-hmm, literally looks、mm-hmm. like a J Lo impersonator.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm into it. You know, I know that she's like nipped, tucked, and pulled, and everything underneath. But there's like a comfort thing that I like about it that gives me that Y2K, early 2000s, late 90s feel.、Oh, she understood the assignment. And her body is so good. Pretty damn、I、good.、Died. Yeah. Look at that. Tooting Willow Pill.、Down. I give Willow Pill a toot. That is so cute. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, we live. Next to the stage, we bring cornbread jeté, the snack. I do. Remember oh, Met Gala, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I think I think it's hard when you go into like a very iconic, iconic look that's like hand beaded in stone to like. Hit at that same level,、mm-hmm. and I feel like as drag queens, if we're trying it like that, we need to go above the level. In my opinion, you think so? I think so. You have to attempt. I mean,、mm-hmm. I don't know. I think, yeah, where the feathers are hitting, it's giving me a little more sequin as opposed to the gorgeous. Sparkly artistry J Lo was serving at the Met Gala. I remember that. It was like a memento. I have no idea what you're thinking or talking about right、know. now, Mac. <laughs> Got Mac. Listen, I think cornbread, the snack, jeté looks like a f- meal. I think what's different about it is just the proportion. She's proportionized the look toward her, and、um, I think she looks great. I have a feeling she definitely it- looks pretty. I, I mean, cornbread always kills, but. Like if you have that black, I think she could have like brought it in and really like curved out that、mm. waist, made the cross a little、mm-hmm. bigger, and then I do think the hair is a little flat for me as well. Do、yeah, the hair is a little plasticky? 
I mean, I get, I get that she's like taking it all back and like done them. <laughs> to, and she, like, I'm taking it all back. And it looks a lot like J Lo's hairstyle, but it's it's a little too platinum for, to to be accurate to the look. But you know, it doesn't bother me that bad. I think cornbread, the snack looks like a snack. A snack. Tell us why you like it so much. I just like it. I think, <laughs> I think, cause right now I'm counting the amount of boas that are on her dress and there's at least eight to $900 worth of boa on there. And I, oh, and sure. I, and I know that that budget was, you know, she went for it. She well, I, definitely I, put a lot of coin into <clears throat> this and a lot of effort and it fits her really nicely. And I just think, yeah, it's not exact. And I think that's what's sexy about it. I like the cutouts. I think that's kind of clever because you focus all the attention to the middle of her body, which gives you the out, that hourglass. Mm -hmm. I think I just have to, I think I'm gonna boot it today just cause I'm in a, I just really like, if you're going for that reference, I feel like we just need to hit it beyond and it's giving just a little bit, not as stunty as Jayla was. So I have to boot you my angel. <laughs> Sorry. I give her, I give cornbread a two. Well, I definitely toot the budget because I definitely toot I the toot budge. the budget because I love the feathers. <laughs> Next, we bring to the stage Lady Camden. The Lady Camden. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. I'm down. Mm -hmm. I like the garments. I like I like the the midriff showing. I love the the cape on the pants, and I love a palazzo large pant. Yeah. I love full legs. I love a cape on the on the butt. Yeah. Cape butt, butt cape. I love it all. I think she looks fantastic. The hair looks really wonderful, you know, and that's the look that she chose and this is, and it works. I think it does too. And yeah. I, I don't know why, but I feel like JLo's gives more like sporty 90 and then hers gives a little more like formal for some reason. I don't know if it's like the silkiness, the fabric. I don't know what it is, but I live and her body's stunning. Mm -hmm. I love, I love a little cinch waist, but her giving her skinny little bod in this little JLo moment is getting me good. Mm -hmm. I live. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Lady Camden gets a toot from me. Toot for me too, Gorge, that's everything. Next we bring to the stage Bosco wearing JLo's golden globe look. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, she looks so pretty. JLo definitely has a little more like detailing going on. It's definitely a way more toned down, pretty girly glam for her. Like her mm -hmm. brow, she's still like true to her normal makeup, but it's blonde. I love that. It's mm -hmm. like seeing a little different moment for her. I'm gonna go ahead and disagree with you on this one. Listen, I know that when you do, when you wear wigs, it's difficult to achieve chignon, to pull it back and to get that slick look unless you have really good wig, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's a thing that's missing for me. I also think that this should have, that Bosco's dress should have been done in some type of sequin. Cause right now all I read is like a bolt of Lycra. And which is not bad. Cause we love a bolt of Lycra. I like Lycra. <laughs> I like Lycra, get it? I like Ra. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not my absolute favorite. I wish there would have been a little bit more draping and styling in the cowl instead of just the two like Daytona Beach spring break like front piece right here. Yeah. I wish it had more of like a cow, karaki, cow, cow, king, cow, you know, like yeah. a shan shan na na yeah. cow, cow. And it's not, it's just kind of like, yes. it's a little, it's stripper dress to me, which has its appeal. I love a stripper dress. I love stripper shoes. I love stripper anything, but like for the, the assignment, like to get the J-Lo-ness of it for the Golden Globes, I it should have been sequined, it should have been textured, it needed stones, it needed something. Like I was just saying before with, Cornbread, when you pick a iconic little red carpet stunning dress, you have to go above and beyond to really hit it. I mean, this is hard to go ab above and beyond JLo, but I don't think it was this. Mm. It's not a bad dress. I would actually totally, totally wear this. Like oh. this to me is like a dress that I would wear like maybe at around 2.33 p.m. <laughs> like after brunch and we're running around like WeHo to oh, beaches yeah. and we're going to Ro Rocco's and we're like, yeah, and this yeah. would be like, and I would just be like, easy to scrunch up and yeah, scrunch across the street. Yeah, and I'm just like, hey guys, <laughs> like waving at my friends, doing a TikTok. I don't do TikTok, but you know, just feeling like, hey, like it's a very casual dress in yeah. my opinion. So mm -hmm. I give Bosco um, a boot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna really have to extremely softly boot it as well because it's just my theme of this is that you have to go above and beyond the JLo look. And I don't think she did do that. I think you're right with the fabric and the hair. Yeah. Next, we bring to the stage 
Oh, but of course. We got our first Versace dress. Versace. Versace. Honey. Miss Carrie Colby. Of course, Carrie、oh、Colby、God. is going to come with this look. The、yeah. most iconic look、uh, that JLo, in my opinion, has ever worn. I mean, immediately you think of this look. I don't know why I'm on one today, but like, I just I don't know about like, the, the silver with it. Like the, the crystal necklace with it when Carrie's body, and then the like giant stones on the pussy. I love giant stones on the I pussy. I do too. I know. I just, I'm like, I mean, she looks so good. It's like hard for me to even ever like say anything, but if I'm just erasing how beautiful Carrie is, which is impossible. But I mean, it is just an iconic dress, and she really did hit it. And I, the second I saw her, I'm like, she looking, is it's so beautiful. Breathtaking. The necklace seems like a little last minute detail.、Mm -hmm. I don't like, if I was Carrie, I would have just like taped my boobs together so hardcore, bronzed it up, and just like ran out there with like Simone level of body oil.、Mm -hmm. I would have gone off. So I wish that was there, but I mean, everything looks so JLo to me. I'm obsessed. She looks so stunning. I give Carrie a toot. Me too. Too. She Looks so stunning. Oh my、She's、god. She's really giving J Lo to me.、Mm -hmm, yeah,、mm -hmm. that, that's the dress, Gorge. Next, we bring to the stage Georges. And she is giving us J Lo's Super Bowl look, which was one of my favorite shows to watch. I don't know anything about sports, but I definitely know about some Super Bowl half times. And I live. Mm hmm. So in J Lo's, I mean, That shiny nude illusion is so hard to get. But、mm -hmm. if I was just looking at Georges, I would think that was like not supposed to be nude illusion at all. Exactly. It's a, it, it reads a bit pale on the runway. And JLo's all about bronzy and goldy. And I know that she's trying to stick to her own skin color and kind of match it up. But maybe、mm -hmm. she should have bronzed up her arms a little bit. That's the only thing that is really throwing me off because actually,、Same. all the pieces are there.、Mm -hmm. It's a nude bodysuit. With all the mirrored little、uh, pieces that, that make it. But I don't know, there's something about it. And Jayla like, brought the look like, into her shoe. Yeah, that's a definitely interesting、um, nude mesh choice. But everything else is so gorgeous. She literally, the hair is beautiful, her face is beautiful. I love the mirrored situation. The boobs are perfect. Like, everything looks amazing except for that mesh. These are the choices that. Yeah. Makes or breaks it. Obviously, all the puzzle pieces are there. I think she's definitely giving us the JLo vibe. She looks beautiful in it. There's something that, it, that it's too pristine or something. And there's, there's a thing that, I, that bothers me a little bit about drag queens these days is their fear of messing up their hair.、Uh. You know, I mean, obviously, right now you're wearing something that has structure and sleekness to it. But there's, a, there's this moment where, you, they, they, where queens forget to just kind of scrunch it and、mm -hmm. put your hands in the wig,、mm -hmm. which makes it JLo. JLo was, you know, in this performance, was moving her body and she was being lifted, carried, she was on a pole. And there's something too slick. The color is off on the bodysuit. And although I think she looks absolutely stunning, I'm just not like for the JLo vibes of it all. Because、yeah. the, the controversy in this, in this costume. Was that people assumed that JLo was nude?、Uh? People were like closing their children's eyes as they watched the Super Bowl. They're like, don't look at the naked lady. And I don't see a naked woman up there.、Yeah. I see a person wearing a bodysuit. I agree. Georges is literally just known for being gorgeous,、mm -hmm. to say the least.、Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like she probably is lacking that little element of being able to just like get down and dirty and say, like, I'm hot, which I can't wait to her, for her to discover because she's so beautiful.、Mm -hmm. So that one. She gets that little JLo spice up in the gig.、Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. It's over. I don't, I don't mean to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna boot this one. Oh my God. This is a hard one because I really love it. Soft、she、boot. It's so beautiful. I think it is a soft boot because, yeah, I think most of the outfit is that mesh and、mm -hmm. it's supposed to be this like effortless, just naked woman, like you said. Right. So I don't really see a naked lady either.、Mm. Oh my God. Am I like. A JLo like stand. I'm like, it's not close enough.、God. No! Like, I'm like, oh, it's not. J, no! J, like,、mm. Oh my God. I want to see J, yes. J <laughs> <laughs> Next, we bring to the stage Jasmine Kennedy.、Mm -hmm. I mean, this looks kind of exact. Exact. So, like, is that the dress? Yeah, the only differing thing is the ombre on it. But、mm -hmm. who cares? JLo's dress was probably like. Tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs>、yeah. And Jasmine Kennedy definitely got this correct. This dress was, I remember when JLo wore this dress and people were kind of like, oh my God, she looks like a, like a tampon that's just been pulled out. 
And um, and I still see that. I'm sorry. Once once you hear that, I hate that. I know. I hate that. And I love that dress. I don't, I don't even know who did it. It looks like a McQueen or something. Like a little like, Oscar de la Renta or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna pull a tampon out, there better be rhinestones. Uh-huh. In it. <laughs> mm. Warovsky, darling. I live. I love that you know all the like the controversies around J Lo's life. I don't. I don't <laughs> how the f- it's, it's, I'm a Gemini. You know what I mean. You just we absorb little bits of information about I everything. I love it. I love that. Also, her nude shoe is her perfect nude. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. Everything. I'm obsessed. She literally looks head to toe, put together, perfect. I'm down for this. I love Me it. Too. I think she looks sexy and I think she looks beautiful and there's a lot of kakara cow to it. Oh, so much. Which brings me joy. So therefore, I give this look a toot. Oh, me too. Two. Next to the stage, we bring Maddie oh, Morphosis. And she is inaugural JLo. Mm-hmm. I like it. I think, you know, it, it looks exactly like what JLo wore. It's hard to criticize this because it's it's exact and it's just a beautiful white outfit and she looks like it's wintry out and she's feeling inaugural. And when you pick a one, a monochromatic look, look, it is hard to perfectly match all the white sometimes. I think Pete's about to give us the flyer to Let's really see, get yeah. into the white. <laughs> I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think it's really hard to match all the whites, and I think there are a few like a little off tones. But I think you're right when you just like unfocus your eyes a little bit, it looks exact to me. And that's all there is to it. Like I can't say that this is a spectacular costume. I can't say it's that a this safe is choice. one. Yeah. I wouldn't say this is iconic. I would say that this is this is just exact. You got uh-huh. you got it right. And so. I am like my biggest like not even pet peeve. It's like a fear of like that hemline. When it's like what hemline? It looks like you tried on the outfit like without a pair of heels. Oh, it like hurts me. But that's the only little judge. I don't think it's bad enough to like boot it. It's just like a safe little J Lo. Mm-hmm. Safe little J Lo. Safe low. Safe too. Mm-hmm. Safe low. Next to the stage we bring Deja Sky. Deja Sky. Deja Sky. <laughs> I'm going to have to boot it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think JLo's giving this like green analogous of like a blue tone green fantasy and this is not that at all. She's giving like Grecian like goddess or something. And then JLo has like metal hardware and a lot going on and this is definitely just a completely different vibe. Well, the thing that's missing too is the that Versace print or the the chain link, you know, and then the Medusas and the and the, the it's Versace-esque. That's the thing that's really missing, and it's not difficult to find that fabric. It, that no. that chain link Versace esque fabric comes in every goddamn color. The cheapest one in the bundles. Seriously, and that's the thing that's missing. And I know this is only supposed to be, I guess, an interpretation of J Lo. Perhaps maybe that's why she didn't do it that way. But for us right now, just being critical, two bitches sitting here talking shit about <laughs> people's clothes. That's the thing. Which that's you all are as well. Don't yeah. lie. I think if you're gonna go with a different textile and color story and everything, you still need the hardware. Like something still J Lo y. There's not really that. And J Lo's also giving this like sexy straight mm, hair moment. Yeah. And she's just giving like a goddess, like Grecian goddess vibe to me. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, I'm mm-hmm. gonna like a, stand with my boot. I like the costume. I like this dress. I like her look. But I mean, as far as the assignment, it only goes to J Lo esque rather than like. JLo embodiment, which is kind of like what I want to see. Compared to some of the other queens, I'm going to say that this look is probably... Uh, boot. Boot. It's a yeah, boot. I like the shoulders though. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Next, we bring to the stage... Diabetti. Diabetti. Oh. She's also giving us the Super Bowl look, which was the opening look, I believe, when JLo first comes in. And then she's got a skirt, and then she removes it, oh. and then there's like a whole like biker love. kind of thing. I love the biker moment. Mm-hmm. And it's so her still too. She's that like punk rock diva. I really like it. I think it's really close to what J Lo has going on. I love what's underneath the pink skirt. I think it's so punk and dope. And I mean, how gorgeous would it be if she was so cinched? Like it was like. <sighs> Or, like body. or more volume to the skirt. Oh, yeah, that would assault you know, it too. Like uh, some more body, like embodiment. 
You see how JLo's skirt is kind of like that nice, crisp, heavy satin that swings and yeah. like has、oh. a has a, some depth and meat to it.、Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the only thing that that feels missing to me. And again, the hair. Queens be wanting to like brush it all down. When、yeah. you look at J Lo's hair, it has it needs wind in it. It needs to feel wind, and I'm not feeling the wind. If I was on this, I definitely wouldn't have been psycho with the hair either. I'm like sitting here listening. I'd be like, that's so right, and I definitely wouldn't have done that. Right? Because I think I, I think we think we think of it now as like wanting to keep it really slick and tight and everything. And there's something kind of real like, and like yeah, you need the wind in it. And a lot of these girls are missing the wind in their hair that J Lo. Definitely has. It's either windy or it's slick, nice. 100%, you know, yeah. And there, those moments have been far and few between for me. But you know what? I like this look. I think she looks wonderful. I think she's she done、does. a good job. So therefore, I give her a two. I'm gonna two her as well. Up next to the stage, we bring Angeria. Yes. Hmm. At the Met Gala, I live because、mm. I think this is she's taking this iconic look into a very we know her, and she's a pageantry. Drag queen, like she's pageant dragged down, and I think that is what it's giving. She's taking this little gorgeous necklace she had, and she made it pageant drag. She made it her. I love it, and she even has like a lot of dangly artistry, which is very like stage pageant as opposed to J Lo's、mm. like little gorgeous, perfect little beating. So I think I like it for her. It's I、pageant. love it. Yeah, I、pageant. love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is definitely one of my top favorites in the group. I think, I think she、so、looks、too. beautiful. And that's that's what I wanted to see—the essence, the glamour. The, She even like, the, took it a little bit more, like a, extra. Take it, yeah. Take it to the drag race stage、yeah. runway level, and and this look is sumptuous and beautiful and sexy, and the makeup is right. Yeah.、Uh, the jewels are jeweling, and I'm into it. This look is a. Two. Yeah. Two.、Mm-hmm. Oh, we almost got a shoot. Almost, almost. Yeah. No, almost. I think this is literally the embodiment of what we've been saying this whole time. Is we were just looking for that. If you're gonna go for a J Lo look, you should just go above and beyond. Make it yourself. Make it that extra oomph that we need to see on the runway of Drag Race. And she did it. We see her in it. We see pageantry, drag. I'm obsessed. I'm going to toot it as well. Yes. Yes, bitch. Next to the stage, we bring Alyssa Hunter. 2018 Billboard Awards look. Ooh,、uh, she looks really good. I love it. I love it. Oh wait,、what? there's a reveal. Oh my god! Oh yeah! Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the reveal. Wait, did J Lo do that? I don't even. No, I didn't even know J Lo wore this much white. Like everyone、either. has had a white. Maybe、outfit. I am very J Lo today. Apparently, <laughs> I thought I was serving in some sort of gold thing or something. I apparently was had no idea that J Lo loves to wear white. I love. I love this look, and I think that she looks absolutely beautiful. I love love structure. I love tailoring, and it looks great on her. She definitely got this correct. The、oh. red lip, and then the, and a nice reveal.、And、the hair, everything、mm-hmm. just looks so good.、Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. Yeah. yeah, the reveal, like above and beyond again. This is exactly what we needed. So、J-Lo、sexy,、moment. so even the sexy. way the hat comes down, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so sexy and gorgeous. One critique: I wish the brim on the hat was a little wider. You know what I mean? Well, with these, oh god, like a、I、Joanne. A, yeah, I, jo- a Joanne. And, yeah. yeah, I like I like a wide brim on a hat,、mm. especially mm. fedoras.、Mm. I love this outfit. I think、Me、she looks fantastic.、Too. Structure. Uh, suiting, tailoring, the hat, stunts, the stunts, the money flying everywhere. Love it, love it, love it. Even the makeup is just like J Lo.、Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. obsessed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Toot! <laughs> yeah, tooting. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, we bring to the stage Orion. Got it. Oh. 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 And this is from the HRC dinner event. Good old HRC. Um, Miss her every day. It's pretty good for a replica. It's really beautiful, and I、mm-hmm. love the outfit.、Mm-hmm. It's giving a different vibe. This is giving me like nervous system, like anatomy vibes. Nervous I, system. I love J Lo's like neck situation and how the the panels come into the neckline. I think that is giving J Lo this really cool like bust shape into the neck, and I think she's missing that. One size. It's a beautiful dress. One size stones are hard for me. Yeah, I need three or four. At least, yeah, three. For、cool. texture, for movement, for size. The other thing that I'm having trouble with is the hairstyle. 
All she had to do was really just do a quick pin in the back and let that front kind of hit the front. Just a little knot in the back. That's not the way she had her hair. Yeah. This is a loose chignon, which is easily done with just like three large pins. Like it's just a messy yeah. little scoop up, boop, 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 and then you're on the stage. Yeah, it's, um, this is another one that's kind of hard because she looks so beautiful. I love the dress, but the one size stone is a kind of a no in my soul. Mm -hmm. And I think the that neck and the panels coming in and just all of that is really what gives JLo this shape. Mm -hmm. It's like the neck, and the hair pulled up and the chunkiness of the veins that are mm. in the rhinestones. That's what's missing. I would never see that and be like, J-Lo. It's a styling choice and not necessarily the dress, you know? It's really just the styling of it. And any queen can put on any f dress, but it's about how you make embody it, it. And how do you embody it. And it really needs those little personal touches. And unfortunately, in my opinion, she's missed a few marks that just kind of leave me like, mm. Yeah. I mean, this is a really hard dress to choose. Like, mm -hmm. that's really intense. Yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I think you look beautiful, but it's just not hitting it for me either. It's like those moments mm -hmm. that we needed. I'm going to give this a boot. Yeah, I'm going to have to boot it as well. Not oh, a read, not a read. Just kind of like, oh, you could have gone, you could have taken it there more just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I agree. Trend alert! White on white. 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 We thought it was White. gold, but it was we a lot so of white. Wrong. Very wrong, J Lo. Opposite White. of what we thought. It's, it's white, it's, it's crisp, gold. it's spiritual. I mean, I feel like I'm giving the snatch back. I'm giving, apparently, she loves white. Like, who? I'm J Lo right now. <laughs> you are so not J Lo <laughs> I am. ever. I'm no. with the trend. No. Fine. <laughs> Everyone, who's more J Lo between us? <laughs> Leave your comments below and subscribe to Wow Presents. <laughs> Our top two of the week is... Alyssa Hunter. Alyssa Hunty. Yes, oh, gain yeah, a structure yeah. above and beyond. Is yes. that J-Lo? I oh think it might God. be. I think it might be. It might yeah, be. I mean, I like, look at her. Bobby. Yes, J-Lo. Yes, J-Lo, J-Lo, J-Lo. Outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> J-Lo. Yes. We finally got our J-Yes. What was that? J-Slay. J-Slay. <laughs> that was a J-Slay. That's a J-Slay. <laughs> J-Slay. Fridays are a drag. Make sure you watch another new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14 on VH1. And everywhere else outside of the US, Canada, and Australia on WOW Presents Plus. <gasps> That includes the UK, Gorge. Oh, shite. <laughs> so if you were in uh, Morocco. WOW Presents Plus. Mm. So if you were in Shanghai. WOW Presents maybe Plus. Maybe WOW Presents Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So if you were in like Botswana. <gasps> WOW Presents Plus. <laughs> mm.